Mr. Gan Tianpo. Deputy uh, Speaker, sir, I rise in support of the bill. We can expect greater synergy and efficiency after the consol consolidations of all non-food related and animal functions to end parts under NMD. I'm sure there will be many benefits to be reached from the optimization of resources and leveraging of expertise. I would like to take this opportunity to raise a couple of issues on behalf of my residents regarding the populations of wild birds and pets. Firstly, about the wild birds. I think we will all agree that most of us want to live and work in environments which integrate nature with man-made structures. Very few people would choose to live in the sterile estate with only concrete buildings. However, the challenge we face is, this, is in striking the balance between the management of wildlife and human populations. Having birds and other creatures around us is good and necessary for our well-being. However, they can also be the sources of this amenity, such as noise pollution and animal waste. Some residents have shared their concerns over the populations of wild birds with, with me, particularly species which are growing in numbers. Does MPAC have plans to manage such wild bird population in our estates? How would MPAC tackle big populations of certain birds which appear seasonally? Would the choice of particular trees or plants to help to solve the problem of certain wild birds in our HDB estates? Secondly, about keeping pets in HDB uh, flats. In recent years, I have been receiving many feedback relating to problems created by increasing pet ownership in our HDB estates. Some residents complain about incessant plucking, others are dis dismayed by the foul, sound, uh, foul smell of pets urine along common corridors and void decks. We, we responsible owners who leave pets feces on the ground are also a big problem. Personally, I'm quite worried about pets which are mistreated by owners who have lost interest in them, such as by confining them in small cages. I'd like to ask how MPAC will proceed in tackling this problem, including how it will work with other agencies and ministries. Thank you.